Okay, I figured out the issue. What has happening is it's pulsing it twice. So when it would go through here, you would pulse it. Um, okay, so the first one would pulse and switch it over to break the one, and then it would also pulse into here, which I've created a repeater. I had to go up further, so I got a little chimney action going now. Um, so the repeater will prevent it from backing and hitting this prematurely, which is why I think this didn't actually need to be that long. So 15 seconds should be enough. And uh, that uh, should make this good to go. So let's make sure that this is all reset properly. This should be in the ready position. Um, that should be like that. So this is waiting for the next stage of development, and I gotta go reset the mining world. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have fixed everything, and hopefully everything will be hunky dory from here on in. Uh, where is the diggers? I've got nothing in the diggers. Okay, I'm gonna quickly grab everything here, and I'm gonna make myself another platform. because this platform never seems to be in the right spot for me. Alright, we're gonna go right here and we're gonna watch the whole thing right beside it. The jetpack is great and all, but I'll make a small little platform like that so we can see what's happening uh, back here and in there. Perfect. Okay, so we can see everything now. So, uh, oh, I guess that's it. All right, release the Kraken. So when I hit this, this should only do this. Wait 15 seconds, then pull this, pull it around. The mining well should beat the ender chest to the deployer. Here we go. Okay. Next stage. Bam. Four, five. That'll deploy. It'll move. Wait a few seconds. Maybe that's a little too long. And then it'll deploy and it'll activate. Oh, now it's waiting for. Now it's waiting for my input. Manual activation this one right here and it will continue to stay at the stage until this has had at least two minutes oh this is beautiful oh shoot I wasn't wearing my jetpack <laughs> let's try that again uh, so this will wait at this stage up until um, this thing is held down for a full minute so let's do that Bam. And let's see the resources pile in. Here it comes. Here it comes. Full speed. A lot of cobble. Didn't see that one coming. That's good though. What else do we need to... Okay, we need to reorganize. Well, we can reorganize while we're waiting. Lead ore, I believe we can macerate and pulverize and all that other fun stuff. So this is going to the macerator. Let's put that there. The lead ore there. And then to get furnished is the orange. Orange, copper dust. Monazit ore will automatically do its thing, which is nice. And let's let's actually see it do something else here. We don't need to see all this dirt and cobble all the time, eh? Okay, so now everything's really working itself. Everything's moving around, and that's why I got these two buffers here. Is this will eventually back up for sure that will back up. Okay, so lead ore, that's on a 10 second timer so it will pulse every now and then. Is there anything in here? Nothing in the furnace yet? Hmm. 
Okay, and it's slowing down. Found some gems, some gemstones, got some dust. Everything, everything will end up back in here eventually. Alright, will it work on the next cycle? Will I see a next level of dirt and cobble come through? How are we doing here? We're doing okay. Everything's moving, everything's doing its thing. It's at that stage. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. This one was too long. Let's just put it up four clicks. That's going to wait two minutes, and it's going to go through it again. i got to go back and make sure that everything's going to be good. Whew! I think I have an automated mining system. A completed, fully functional, automated mining system. Now if I look back here, yes! It's going through the dirt, and then it's going to find the cobble... copper ingot. Did it find a copper ingot? Or did it just not... Oh, it's probably from the smelting system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just hasn't gotten that far yet. Hasn't uh, cleaned it out yet. This is actually pretty exciting. I just gotta find. Oh, it's onto a second chest now. Great. One, two, third chest actually. This overflow system is being. Oh, I gotta do something with this cobble. That'll be my next stage. Is to make a bunch of recyclers. So now that I, this is fully functional, I'm going to release this to the world. Um, this is a setup that is almost dwarfed uh, Mr. Direwolf 20. Um, let's take a look here and see if it's moved forward one without flaw. And it, and it is... I'm trying to make a path here. I wanted to move this down further and cover it up as we went along, but that didn't seem to work. So this is going down. My only concern is power and how much is left now. Actually, not too bad. It can probably go through a few cycles before really running out of power. And that will actually slow down. Okay, let's see if we can see this cycle run in action here. So I don't. I don't oh, now that's out. Yeah, like I said, it had that crossover with the deployer, but because there's nothing in the deployer, it won't have any issues. So that'll go in there. 15 seconds is too long. Maybe I can reduce that to 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Deploy, pulse, move. This is just shorter. Oh, perfect! And it automatically goes right into it. Look at this, look at this. And it's got another line. But are we out of energy? What's going on here? Definitely running low on energy. How long does it take for it to fully recharge again though? Oh no, look at it go! Look at that go. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. Because we have a manual shutoff. That, won't, that will say that it's not ready for the next stage. And I just have it up in here, up in here, up in here. Right there. So it will not continue on to the next stage afterwards. Uh, so yeah, there we have it. This is the most intricate and crazy system I've ever built. It's fully automated. Unfortunately, the battery is the only limiting factor. I'm wishing that I had a way to automatically figure out whether or not the red power to battery is actually filled up and if it is then to emit the signals so that it says that it's ready for the next cycle without having empty batteries or whatever so with that being said I think we've got ourselves a pretty awesome system and uh, next step will be to use the cobble okay so I finally went through the mix and I'm making the dark iron me forever to get whoa 
I think we are done. There we go. And that should do us nicely. Where's my So all we need to do is grab all this iron. There's a nice little area around the corner. And I'm going to create myself some barrel upgrades. Okay, so I've left the Kraken overnight for some time. And you can see it's been pretty successful here in uh, creating and grabbing a whole ton, a whole ton of ores. This is all the extras. Not sure what I'm going to do with the appetite yet. Um, uh, we'll go over here. This is all almost filled up. Uh, this should be filled up with diamonds, but it's not. But you get the idea. Um, to give you an idea of how effective this thing has been, I left it over two nights. Okay, so the spawn point is 200 meters in this direction. And you probably remember it cutting through here. This is where I set it up initially. Okay, let's follow the path that the caribou walks. Unfortunately, this is quite the haul, so I'll fast forward this part until we get to the end. And there she be. So all of this in a matter of two days. Oh, it's a wisp. I hate wisps. Get away. What is that? The grass? Randomly forming grass there? That looks like it could have been a rune of some sort. Um, I don't like operating this. So anyways, what I've done here recently is I've uh, made a little addition. So when it's about to move, it will sound an alarm. And when it's mining, it will sound an alarm. Um, yeah, everything else over here is unchanged, and uh, I'm very happy with what's happened. I want to see how it's been doing for dependability. Oh, looks like one point, it was stopped early. That's okay, it missed, what, four ores? I'm sure we can manage. Is that the only time it messed up? seems that way. Now let's look for some diamonds here, because I was told that there were some diamonds left behind. Ha 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 ha. And although diamonds are nice to be automatically grabbed, this one will give you two, one, two, and one. Gotta love fortune. Okay, I'll be back later. Alright, looks like we missed some more diamonds. And I say, alright, we missed diamonds because I can, oh, nice, it's a nice vein of them too. I can mine them out with my, uh, fortune drill. And get a whole whack load. Where are we here? We need our miner's bag. Let's see how many we got from 8, 9, 10 of those things. 29 diamonds from 10, no, that doesn't seem right. Maybe I didn't empty up my bag. It seems a little OP. I don't think that was the case. Okay. There's cows everywhere. I should have a cow killer somewhere. Let's check out the other side of the wall here. I don't think I checked this side. Okay, and there's all of our... Oop, there's some emeralds. Yeah, it seems to be a squid spawner. These uh, blocks here. I hate walking in water, can you tell? Oh, let's see if I can do this. Come on. Yeah, I win. At life. Oop, there's one. Bam. Anything else of interest? Oh, there's one there. it there. Um, but yeah. And then I can just take this bag here and just go... Oh, hello. Mr. Skeleton.
and I can drop everything that I don't want to look at. So that, I'll drop that, that, and it will automatically sort it into my system. And that's the beauty of it, having this background. I can go around to mine if I want, grab a few things, and be like, okay, I'm all done. Oh, it's in operation. And here she comes. quite the sight, I must say. That's pretty awesome. And as you can hear, there's that alarm I was telling you about. I guess I could have made this more compact. I didn't need this, but I didn't want to wire everything around here um, again and have a bunch of wires cut through. I don't think it was possible. This is a nice little shelf I'm using for storage. So yeah, this is the alarm that says people watch out. Oh, geez. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Get out of here. Get out of here. Ah, uh, don't kill me. Get a nice little ladder on the back. Okay, it's far enough away. I'm going to go for the book. Go for the book. Go for the book. No. Get in there and out of there. Okay. Uh, my next stage is to create a really, really, really cool jetpack. The advanced jetpack. Let's see if I can see it. Ooh, if I spelled it right. Testing something out in my test world, that didn't work. Yeah. So I got the electric jetpack, I've got the advanced lap pack. All I need are these engine boosters, which seem to be a little complicated, but not too complicated. The most complicated process, I guess, are these advanced alloys and these advanced heat vents. Even these are, well, you know, diamond. Even these are fairly decent, so like you got to find iron around the bar, so I'd say we have no shortage. Let's take two of these. Let's put them in the hopper. So we've got iron on the go to be smelted into refined iron. It'll be good to have. Uh, I gotta take a bunch of those. I gotta take a bunch of those. Reorg. Um, I gotta reorganize myself here. Put you guys back because I don't need you anymore. I've separated my chests now, so this is my red power stuff. Didn't need any of that stuff apparently. Oh, and that I didn't need. There's my map pack, which is good, and I'll get there eventually. Alright, so I need iron bars. I have iron bars, don't I? Oh, four. And I believe that is 16 iron bars. Okay, so first thing, I need to make two of these things, so I need two of these. So four of these things. So I'm going to need 4 times 4 is 16. Maybe I should pay attention to what the recipe is instead of aimlessly wandering around. Bam. Okay. 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, F4. Oh, I don't stack. Good to know. Okay, and the next I'm going to need more of those things, aren't I? Uh, Six times six, twelve. I need twelve more. Do I have twelve? No. So I'll make some more. There we go. There we are. And we got one heat vent there, one heat vent there. And if I only pay attention, I'd have been able to get the gems. There we go. Drop everything on the ground. Great. And I'm gonna actually grab everything from in here. Throw it into my sewing system. Seems to be doing very well right now. I think I'm our circles in for now. Good enough. Now let's do this at the project level. Much easier that way. So we got that, we got that. Okay, advanced heat vents. Uh, what am I missing? Oh, right. Oh, you don't stack, that's right. Okay, so I got... Oops, so I need that. So I got two of those. I need the... Overclockers, some... Alloy, which I figured out a good way to do it is this... Brass... And refined iron. Which 
check this out. We take refined iron, brass, and nickel. Oh, they gotta be plates, right? Son of a bitch. Um, let's make 16. And just so you can see the recipe that I found, next metal ingot. Where is it? Creates nickel, bronze, or bronze, or brass. Nickel, brass, and tin. Stop it. I messed that up. So I need brass, which I had tonight. Yeah, brass and tin. And there's some that I hadn't transformed yet. So I got enough nickel. Probably gonna need more of the LTP around. Ironing is. That was a waste of a fine iron plate, so I hope I can use it for something. Bam. Oh, I got a few. <laughs> Great. <coughs> Excuse my gold here. We got tin here. And we'll just make ten of you. Um, yeah, I'll come back when this is. Okay, I got a few now. Here we go. So all we need to do is put the tin on the bottom, brass in the middle, and nickel on top. Bam! We got ourselves a mixed metal ingot, which we throw in the compressor, and that should create ourselves oops, the advanced alloys that we need. So I have that going. There, and there. I don't know what else I'm going to use nickel for, so that's why I'm using it now. Uh, nope. Here. There. So we got ten of those on the way. That should be good. I'm going to throw that in there. There's a lot of cool things here that I found along the way. Some of the wisps that give me trouble. Oh, those are painful. Uh, throw you, you. Not the you, you matter, but I'm just going to make sure the brass makes it. Yeah, I got the brass in it. Good. Oh, and we got the, uh, fine. did I back up it all? No, it's not too backed up, that's good. We got gold, iron, and silver on the way. And we got a whole bunch of refined iron. Okay, so we got... A bunch of these plates. Great. Now what? Alright, so we got a... Oh, what? Oh, we need the overclocker, so we're gonna take that, that, and that. Overclocker upgrades. This is a bunch of tin again. There's some tin. We got some water there. We're gonna find another water source. I think I messed mine up. How many overclockers do I need? One each, which is three of these cells. So this will make four, eight, and then I need to fill it with water. Uh, the nearest water source over here. Be right back. Okay, I'm taking these water cells, rounding them by ten, gives you the coolant cells. Uh, a little bit at a time, so oh, I guess I gotta make circuits and all that fun stuff. Jeez, this is a bigger process than I remember. Rubber. Oh, man. Okay, you know what? I don't have time to do this today, but I will continue. I'll make some of these wire on uh, wires. Probably not enough. Uh, my redstone nest is in here now. I'll take that. And I'm gonna need some fine iron. right until the bitter end. There, there we go. And that gave me... 
Alright, so I gave you 38. I'm going to need to use pretty much all of them. Because I'm going to need a lot of rubber. Oh, I love this jetpack. Thank you for the idea, Shifty. Great idea. The extractor is here. Yes, bam. Okay, we'll have to wait for that to happen. We're going to need to get some more cables. Let's just make sure that we don't have any of those random copper... No, we don't. Okay. Sometimes they got different IDs. They don't stack, but they're the same damn thing. Okay. 29... These things are always handy. There we go. 3... We'll start with 3. We can make another circuit. Right, that's a hop. Uh, try again. There you go. Maybe... Nope, not ready. Okay. I'm not waiting. I'll make... Oops. Try again. My goodness. 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3. Surround you with redstone, some glowstone, and some lapis to make your advanced circuit. To which that goes... on one side. We've got the glowstone dust there. And a few more of those, so we'll keep them around. Oops. Six more for six more rubber. And we'll make ourselves another advanced circuit. Oops. Can you tell I've made too many of these over the last I don't know how long. Okay, so that goes there. Bam! Engine booster. So, we're going to need one more of those. We're going to need some more of these plates, which are here. One, two, three. The rest can go in here. Oh, don't tell me I have some more in there. No, I don't. Okay, good. So, three of those. I need two of those. I'm going to need two more advanced circuits, so I'll get started on that. I need some more overclockers, I believe. Four more, surrounded by ten. Sixteen ought to do. Water cells. Yeah. Uh, nope, I need to make an up uh, an upgrade to that. So I'm actually gonna make a few, I should make a few circuits at the same time because I'm gonna need two more for sure. Okay, so I've got enough I need three more. Blah 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 Bam. Okay. So we got that Perfect. Move over here. And we're going to go like this. Maybe three. Maybe three. Look at that. Look at that. Look at me counting properly. That's beautiful. And then, uh, I'm going to need too advanced, I'm going to need one by itself, I'm going to need two more of these damn, these things. Okay, so we got one, two, one, two, three, bam, overclocker. Okay, so we got the overclocker there, we've got the two more advanced circuits, we've got everything we should have enough for it. Two engine boosters, hey yo! And we've got two of these couple of glass fiber cables which should allow us to bam, 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 oh I'm wearing it. Give it up. Give it up. Oh, a moment of, oh man! I got the two fiber kills and I need an advanced circuit donor. Okay, more rubber it is. There should be. Yeah, it's a good thing I went all out and I got the bare minimums. Jeez, I can't click this morning. Here we go. 
four, five, six. Put redstone on either side. Corners. I really should make a plan for this, and then I don't have to do this every time. Okay, so here we go. Excited. Bam. Advanced jetpack. And you know what this does? This replaces both my lap pack. That looks pretty lame. I'm going to have to get a texture pack for that. Uh, F for jetpack engine on. That's pretty cool. It's both a jetpack and a power pack. And it tells you the energy level, which is going to be awesome because there's so many times where I've messed up. And it'll tell you when it's on and off, so it's perfect. And I can jump normally if I need to. This is going to eat up the energy. It basically combines the two. Oh. I guess. Oh, because my lap pack was already full. I guess it took the energy from that. There we go. However, my boots have something else to talk about. I wish the, the nano armor would take energy from the uh, the battery packs that you were wearing. That would be a nice feature, methinks. Um, and then you wouldn't have to worry about it. Like if you had a battery pack with a million in it, and it would transfer over to... Um, why am I bothering? Sorting. Who sorts anymore? There you go. Goodbye. There's just a few things I need to do manually. But yeah, like if it would take all the energy from from the actual pack itself and share the energy throughout. I don't know if there's a mod for that or anything, but that would be really, really handy. Okay, and the next thing I'm gonna do. Oh, I can do that now. Oh, I can combine my bodysuit armor with four carbon. Do I have four carbon plates left? Please tell me I do. Nice! Okay, so how did you make this again? So you need some more of these. I'm gonna need a ton of those. I have more rubber. Please tell me I do. Nice. Do I have enough copper? No. Sorry if that alarm is annoying, but I like it because then it tells me when stuff is being sorted so I don't overload the system. There was a point where I actually threw a whole crap load of stuff in the um, in the chest and then realized that it was being overwhelmed. And I was like, eh, maybe I should stop that. And it just stopped the system dead. And I was like, okay. okay. <coughs> so I need one advanced surface. I just need I didn't know it was that easy to go. Jeez, come on. I need two of you. I need two of you. Chef, once you've made this advanced thing, this is this is so easy compared to it. So you know, over coffers or whatever. Okay, so here we go. Bam. Try again. Okay, we're gonna kick that off. Take that off. Throw it all together. There, there. And check this out. Advanced nano chest plate. Ooh, what does it look like? And it looks kind of lame. But again, it combines the powers of the, the, the previous two recipes that I just had. So I've got a nano plate, a, an advanced lap pack, and a jet booster, all in the same. How cool is that? I think that's really cool. Okay, that's about it for now. I gotta get going, but uh, hope you enjoyed the upgrade for Mr. Ogdenner. I'm gonna get a new texture pack and then a new thing here. And when I do, I will uh, come back and show you what I've made. Alright, cheers.